In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure distance as the crow flies um, from location to location. That term, as the crow flies, means just a straight line across from two distances. Um, you're not going to have to worry about going along every single road and driveway and everything to measure for today's assignment. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your first location. So I've already typed in Ainer Middle School, and you can see here I've gone ahead and created a customized place mark for Ainer Middle School, and you're going to want to do that for um, the locations today. It'll make it easier for you guys to find um, locations when they're across the globe. All right, so then what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and go to our second location. So we're just going to go to the McDonald's right across 501. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and create a customized place mark for it as well. I'm just going to kind of zoom in on it a little bit. All right, so we'll go here, McDonald's. I cannot type. And we'll click here to customize. Let's see. We'll just use some shade of yellow. It's a little bit different on the computer I'm using. This is my Mac at home. All right, we'll go ahead and take our scale to five. Ooh, not 50, just five. And we'll press OK and OK. All right, so now what we can do is we can zoom out between our two distances that we have. And you want to try to get as close to both of them as you can without moving off the screen. And again, like your distances, there's going to be a little variance between student to student just depending on when you start and stop the ruler. All right, so we have our two place marks here. So we're going to measure from point A to point B. We're going to come up to our toolbar and we're going to click on the ruler icon. All right, we're just going to move this little box right out of our way. And our directions tell us they want us to measure in miles. So we're going to go ahead and list list and we're going to select miles. We're going to place the icon or the cursor right there on top of Ainer Middle School and we're going to click. And as we draw the line across the street to so McDonald's, you can see it starts to make that line for us. Once we get to McDonald's, we're going to just click again and that will allow you to take that mouse away. And you can see here, as the crow flies, it's about three quarters of a mile. So that's what I would go and record on my assignment sheet. And that's basically all you guys have to do. Um, like I said, some of your distances are going to be um, far away, so you're really going to have to zoom out. That's why you want to make sure that you have those big place marks like I have, because you can see that as I continue to zoom out, I could technically measure distances from like South America um, to Ainer Middle School just by using the place marks. That's how you measure distance using Google Earth.